So this is this is a great machine actually. This machine is from the um, mid fifties, and it's a combined AM radio, uh, a record player, three speed record player, and a record cutter. And you can record from the radio, directly from the radio, or you could record. They had a little crystal microphone, which is just completely dried up. So I replaced that with a with an input. And and actually, that was actually responsible for the people. People associate music piracy with with cassettes, really. But actually, it started much earlier in the 1950s. People recording from the radio, on, especially in the states, they had these recordio sets. They were called and um, you, 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 uh, blank discs were readily readily available, and they would just record uh, music from the radio and use those. And, it was, uh, and some of them surprisingly good. So uh, yeah, what what the way this works is that underneath uh, the turntable there's a, a lead screw. So when when the um, pickup arm, the turn arm is in a certain position, you just lift up the back and it engages this screw, and that uh, basically um, tracks the is the tracking device for the record. Okay. So. I don't know if this will work, I haven't tried it out. It might be a complete and utter failure. Okay, here we go. So this is uh, an instantaneous recording um, onto CD. Yes, I can see it's inscribing a groove. And, um, uh, I'm getting, am I getting some level? Yeah, okay. So um, what? it's not actually cutting the disc. Uh, the mistake I used to make uh, with these, when I was uh, experimenting uh, cutting um, CDs, was that it was uh, I used to get an incredible amount of noise from the cutting process because the surface was so hard, and it was only by accident, by just reversing the needle, that I just managed to emboss them, which is what I should have been doing in the first place. So I'm actually embossing a very shallow groove onto the CD, and uh, and then that should that should theoretically play back. And so I've been doing this quite a lot over the past couple of years <coughs> in festivals. People would bring me uh, a piece of music, sometimes even on a CD, and on from that, that I put that two two minute fifty second or three minute piece onto iTunes or something like that. Then I take the same CD, cut a hole in it, and then they would put that back onto the CD. Or they'd bring me a piece of music on a memory stick, or we do it live like I'm doing now, and um, people would do an audio diary or just to say a poem or read the paper or something like that. And it was very popular. I actually had a radio station in Manchester that came and wanted all their idents on one of these CDs. So, so uh, let's see if this works. Okay, I think that's enough for the moment. Goodbye. embossing a very shallow groove onto the CD. So and, uh, and then that should, that should that's theoretically play back. Yeah. Okay. And so I've been doing this quite a lot over the past couple of years. The uh, amazing thing is, I was, uh, some, 